is a camper van bathroom worth it? In this video, we're going to be discussing the pros and cons of installing a bathroom in your van build, as well as sharing with you guys where we got our shower cubicle and how we installed it. We are Sally and Ed, and this is our van tofu. Over the last couple of months, we've been going through the process of self-converting our van into a tiny home on wheels so that we can begin our next big adventure. And today's a pretty exciting day because after six weeks of waiting, our shower finally arrived and we can install our bathroom. Oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe it. Our shower has arrived. It's here. It's our shower has arrived. Really, for the last couple of weeks, we have been stuck with our van build because we haven't really been able to progress further until we put the floor down. And we haven't been able to fasten our floor down until the shower arrived. And so many things have been not able to be completed because of this. And our shower is here. Yeah, so we're super stoked to have it, which means we can make sure it fits. We can then fasten the floor. We can then do the bulkhead wall. Mm. We can finish our insulation. All yep. of these jobs <laughs> we have been putting off while we've been waiting for this shower. <laughs> We can now do. Oh, Let's I'm so excited. Let's, Let's go do it. Let's get Okay, are you ready to see what it looks like? So, <laughs> one more time. Ta da! <laughs> so, we decided to go with a one piece fiberglass. Oh look, we got a free pencil. <laughs> Before we even bought the van, we'd made the decision that we actually wanted to have a bathroom in our van build. So because we're gonna be living in the van full time while we're traveling, we really wanted to have some of those creature comforts with us while we were on the road. So for us, that meant 100% having a bathroom. For our camper van bathroom build, we decided to go through a company called DIY RV Solutions. They make custom fiberglass shower cubicles to suit a range of different vehicles. We decided this was the best option for us because we didn't want to have to go through the whole hassle of trying to figure out how to build the shower and then how to waterproof it because that was like a major concern for me, like building a shower and then discovering that it leaks when we're on the road. Now you would think that this would have meant that our shower install was a really quick, simple and easy process. All right, so it's the moment of truth. We're about to put our shower in the van and just see if it fits. We've been holding off fixing our floor down like permanently until the shower arrived because well, I mean, if the shower didn't fit and the floor was fixed down, then we would have just a little bit of a problem. The funny thing is as well, our original floor, if you watched our floor building video, you would know our original floor was like 10 centimeters higher than the floor we have right now. And looking at the shower and looking at how much height we have, I think it's gonna cut it real close. <laughs> Wish us luck. The shower doesn't fit, which means we have to take everything out of the van. Everything that is on the floor has to come out of the van. This is why we waited. This is why we waited, though. Yes. Yeah, this, this is why, why we, we waited. waited. Oh, what a nightmare. It was a struggle, and I mean like a really big struggle, <laughs> trying to get the cubicle inside the van, which was 100% our fault because there were instructions on the internet, we just didn't read them because they didn't come in the box. But that's our fault. Anyway, I digress. Is a camper van bathroom worth it for every conversion? Well, that really depends on you, your needs, and your budget. So we've come up with a list of some of the pros and the cons of having a camper van bathroom. So a major pro for us is just the sheer convenience of having your own toilet. The idea of having to wake up every day and go and find a bathroom and be driving around and just having that in the back of my mind seemed like such a hassle. So having our own toilet, our own place to shower just seemed so convenient and such a good option for us, especially since we have a long wheelbase sprinter, we can afford to sacrifice a bit of space for that level of convenience. And also, if we're going to be staying in national parks all around Australia, although some of them do have facilities, 
you don't want to be going out in the middle of the night in Australia when it's really dark and going to the bathroom and then finding that there's a snake in the toilet. <coughs> yeah, because that does happen. Pro number two, so when we first started building our van, one of the things we really wanted was to have a stealth van so that if we needed to, we could stealth camp. Although now that we've added in the Max Air fan and the skylight, I think it's kind of taken away some of the stealthiness, but we can basically park our van anywhere and not have to worry about not having access to a bathroom. Because this was one thing that we were like a little bit stressed about. Like what if we are stealth camping and there are no facilities? Where are you gonna go pee? Well, we don't have to worry about that because we have a bathroom. <sighs> Plus, it's also gonna be so nice to just be able to shower whenever we want and not have to find a shower because we have a shower right here. Oh, it's gonna be so good, especially in summer when it's hot and we're sweaty and we can have like a cold shower and just be refreshed. <laughs> I feel like almost every video on YouTube makes converting a van look easy. And if you've started your van build, you would know it is anything but. So we thought we would share with you just some of the cons and some of the struggles that do actually come with installing your own bathroom and shower in your van. So one of the things that I really wish we had have known perhaps before buying the shower was that it really needs to go in first. And you can't really do anything else without your shower being installed. Everything kind of happens in your van build around your shower. So we made the mistake of ordering our shower and then trying to do a bunch of different tasks like our flooring and our floor insulation before the shower arrived. So we got to take all of our foil board insulation out, but everything's kind of cut to fit like perfectly in between all of the battens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on each piece of foil board which batten it belongs to. So hopefully when we put it all together, it won't be that much of a big deal or it won't be that difficult, but yeah. Removed half the insulation from the back of the van and the floor, so it should fit. <laughs> Ready? We'll yep. try and keep it as upright as possible. Okay. All right guys, so it fits. Um, I think it's totally gonna fit with the flooring. I think it's just been a matter of getting it in the van, you know, had to pull something out to put it in, to put the floor back in after, if that makes sense. So now that it's in, we can put it into position and then put the floor back. Just not quite. You can see we've bought the floor up uh, 20 mil for the insulation and then 12 mil for the ply and then the shower is fitting on that. The only problem is that that forces the shower up into the grooves in the roof. So probably what we're going to end up doing is removing all of the insulation, putting the floor back in and then only putting insulation in the areas that work. So I'm sitting on the floor with all of our insulation and the van is just a mess. 
I'm just feeling like the teensiest bit disheartened by this band build. It's just like, it's the first time that I've really felt like really overwhelmed. And yeah. But anyway, we're gonna tidy this up. We're gonna sort the shower out. We're gonna get something done. And then it's all gonna be good. Con number one, bathrooms in vans can smell. Like it's not pretty bad. And this kind of depends on what kind of toilet you go for. If you're gonna get a urine diverting toilet, like a porta potty, they're a lot cheaper. Like a lot, a lot cheaper than say a composting toilet. But the problem with one of those toilets is they really, really smell. And also you have a pretty unpleasant time when it comes to emptying them. I've never used one, but I have seen some other videos on YouTube of people trying to empty the urine diverting toilets and it just doesn't seem like a fun process. Oh my God. <laughs> oh! oh, I think it passed me in the eye quick. Oh, oh my God. Get a good lap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, oh god. I'm fine. So if you were kind of wanting to combat the smells just a little bit, you can go for a composting toilet. The composting toilets have a fan which kind of helps to alleviate some of the smells that you get from a urine diverting toilet and the number twos can basically be emptied into any bin because they're composted and it kind of like all breaks down and it's not so like poopy once it does its thing. So are you going to go for a toilet that is cheaper but makes your house smell like a bathroom or are you gonna spend more money and get a toilet that doesn't smell but then you spend more money you know what i mean that's like two cons in one so whenever you order anything custom it can be quite expensive and this shower was no different the diy rv solution shower cubicle did cost us about fifteen hundred dollars which means that the price of having your own bathroom in your van is starting to add up because if we have a custom shower cubicle we have a shower mixer we get either an airhead or a nature's head or a porta potty or whatever the cost of these things just really adds up so for us by the time our shower is going to be complete that includes cubicle toilet shower exhaust fans drain everything we're probably going to have end up spent nearly four thousand dollars so if you're not prepared to spend quite a bit of money on having the bathroom that you want in your van then maybe it's not the right option for you another major con of having a bathroom in your van is the sheer size of them now if you custom build your shower then you probably can get away with making one smaller if you do go with a custom built shower cubicle then you are stuck into the sizes that you're given so this one is kind of marketed as being only 680 deep but you sort of forget that you do need to incorporate all of the framing just to kind of sturdy it up. So our shower probably comes out from the sidewall 700 and is about a meter long. We have plenty of space and we're glad it's so big, but that does take away from the space that will eventually be our living room and our kitchen. So if you do have a bathroom in your van, it is just something to keep in mind that you are going to be sacrificing an awful lot of space. So all in all, do you think the shower is gonna be worth it? Yeah, I'm really interested to find out, is it gonna be worth the investment of time, money, and the sacrifice of space? I think it probably will be. I think so too. Uh, once we get used to it, just the sheer convenience of having our own place to poop, our own <laughs> place to wash, and just having our own personal space, yeah. I think is going to be well worth it. Yeah, so obviously, as you guys can tell, we haven't finished our van build yet. So we haven't actually used our shower yet. But this was one of the questions that we had when we were looking at buying a van and actually putting a bathroom in our van was, is a bathroom in a camper van worth it? And well, stay posted, we'll let you know.